Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video this week. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Marina. I am a lash tech based in Toronto, Canada, and I like to make lashing videos. Just a disclaimer, before I start any of my videos, I just want to reiterate that everything that I do in my videos are fully just my own preferences and just my own techniques and methods that I prefer because I find that they are the easiest. But again, everyone has their own methods, so please take everything that I say and do with a grain of salt. I'm still learning along with everybody else that is in this industry, so just want to put that out there as a friendly reminder and a friendly disclaimer. Now getting into this set, it is actually the first set that I've ever done that's this short. And I actually wanted to try this out because it's called the eyeliner effect, where it's a very short set that gives the view, like the um, effect of eyeliner. Obviously, it's in that name. And usually what people would do is go very dense. However, my mom isn't quite the person that wants to go too, too dark or too dramatic. So I decided to give her hybrid instead of a volume or mega volume short set because I felt like it might be a little bit too heavy on her eyes and then she'll be able to feel it. So, and also my mom is the only person I can lash currently because Ontario is still in the state of a lockdown. So I have to kind of work around obviously what my clients want because this is her face and she's going to be walking around with it. So we went for a hybrid rather than something thicker. Although it is a hybrid, it did turn out quite nice and n pretty dark, to be honest with you. I would have preferred the line to be a little darker, but I can always try this with someone else in the future. So in terms of mapping, I did an eight millimeter in the outer corner. And then at the arc of the eyebrow, I went to 11. If I could have gone shorter, I probably would have in the inner corner if I had a seven millimeter, but all of my lash trays only go to eight. So unfortunately I had to work with what I had. And we are doing a cat eye style. As you can tell, they are gradually increasing. So it goes eight, nine, 10, 11. And then at the very ends, just a flick, I add 10 double D and the arc of the eyebrow is also double D and then the rest is D. A lot of the time with Asian eyelashes, I like to go with D curl because us Asians usually have lashes that um, go downwards. They're not as curly. So if your client has like a curly lash, then you can maybe get away with doing like a C curl or a C plus because they already have that natural curl to their eyelashes. But I've myself experienced C curl and I prefer D curl, but that's just me. And yeah, I'm using 0 0.05 fans. And then in between every two lashes, I put 0.15 classics. And as you can see, I always do the taping method at the top of the eyes just to lift the lashes up a little bit so that they won't get stuck to the under eye pads. All the products I'm using will be linked in the description box below. So feel free to go ahead and check them out if you want. Um, I've used all of these before and like at least once or twice, or I'm currently using them now. So I know that I would not link something that I didn't like or didn't trust. So please check that out if you want, um, but totally up to you. I do get a lot of questions about the stuff that I use. So yeah, the only thing that is not linked down there are the boot tweezers that I'm currently using because they are actually not available on Amazon. You're gonna have to go to lashgod.ca. She was actually who's uh, my trainer who certified me. So um, I really do like the tweezers that they use. Only downside I would say is that the paint is peeling off at the top of the tweezers. Um, and yeah, I, I mean like the tweezer itself works so the paint is just very minimal, but that's just um, a little warning or something that I would want to put out there so you guys know. And the isolation tweezers though are in the description box and I love these isolation tweezers. But if you guys like curved tweezers, I know that Live Bay Lash has really good curved tweezers. I really like those ones as well. So thank you guys so much for always tuning in for those who do keep who do watch. Um, I'm going to be making some more tutorial based videos for the next few videos coming up just because 
with this lockdown, it's hard for me to even lash because I can't. So hopefully by the time I get my second vaccination, I can start putting up different varieties and more uh, unique styles of lashes. But please enjoy the rest of this liner look and this short volume slash hybrid style look. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you're new here and not yet subscribed, it would help me out so much if you did subscribe. And yeah, so enjoy this video, guys, and I will see you next week. Thanks. The fear in me has been conquered by your perfect love. Oh, how it doesn't make sense what you put me through. Thing I know is for sure you're worth a pursuit. Yeah. Oh, how it doesn't make sense the things that you. Say, to say.
again.